All right. So, and what is the namespace? What is the namespace? All right. Import type is what? Vista. All right. Vista has got import. Let us close all and open your Vista class. All right. When you are doing the catch block, so let us create a variable first. How do we create? Variable. Okay. Runtime fault. Where? Okay, means variable select. Message type. What is the message type? Bpl x colon. This is a bpl x only, right? Runtime fault message. What is it? Oh. Okay. So I have defined the variable here. Now in the catch block, you can sell, you can say what is the fault variable, you can say what is the fault message type. You can give anything here. So you can say that fault variable. What is the fault variable? Runtime fault variable. And automatically you will gain access to these variables. Alright, you will gain access to these variables here. So for now, let me just comment the retro here. Okay. And now, how to get access to that one is let us say in this variable, what do you have? You have detail, right? Okay. For now, let us just copy the detail to our own detail here. All right. How to do that? Let us comment the existing one from what variable? Dollar runtime fault variable dot what is the? Oh, the part name is what? That's it. There is no X part here because it is directly going to the type. So, and this you copy to the same detail. All right. And you don't have a retro. You just have a reply just to see the output here. So, with this help, we are getting access to original fault message, original thing here. Now, we deploy it here. There are errors. We should give the fault message here for some reason. <coughs> Bpl x. We should give the fault message in eleven one one four. That is fine. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Variable in tapa. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks. Let us redeploy it again. Okay, so it has got deployed. So it depends on the some versions will not uh, require this, some versions will need uh, this one also. So you need to give the fault message type also. Most of some thing they don't need, variable is good enough. All right. So now what is happening is, if you click here, it is get topper, it is actual response and status code message everything is good but in the detail you have encapsulated the original message all right 
the previously original thing is there, right? You are encapsulating this. Okay. So with this process, you will get access to original, you know, this thing. So if you don't want to do this way, there is one more thing called as get fault as message a predefined function. All right. So let us say in catch all, in catch all, you don't have even a catch name. So you don't, you cannot give a fault variable there. So by that time, you will be using a predefined uh, function, something called as get fault as string. All right. So using get fault as string, you will be able to get it. I'll show you how to do this. So. this one right so let us remove this okay instead of using that there is a function here get fault as a string can you see this for me get fault as string and you can use get fault name or get fault as string directly all right so then you will get the same thing here the complete fault will be coming here so, this is a aura. Aura means what? Namespace here. Schemas XPath extension functions here. So this is the schemas. Dot this is the XPath extension function. There are functions like XPath XSLT. Then uh, you have XLT uh, XPath extension, XSLT extension, Beepal extensions. This is XPath. This is Beepal. And uh, there is something here. This is the Aura EXT means this is the XSLT extension functions. This is these are specific to transfer. This is the same thing. Okay, XF uh, stuff here. All right. So let us deploy this guy and see what is happening. So you may get the same thing. here in the detail it is copying everything it has summary and everything right see this is a c data right this is coming as a c data everything is copied here as a c data because it's a string all right so either you can use get fault as string or you can create a variable and you can do that for any custom fault you need to use a variable for any system thing you can use directly you know, uh, get fault as string. So, but within that, you don't want the complete fault. You want only the summary, detail, and kind of stuff. So, then you should use a variable dot part name. Right? So, there are two methods to do that. So, any questions?